If your total daily calorie intake is your overall bank balance, macronutrients are all the sub accounts that make up that balance for you. Your check, your savings, your offset, your credit. Because macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and alcohol come from the foods and liquids that we eat or drink and make up our total daily energy intake. Why is this important to know? Well, if calories control your energy levels and your body weight, optimizing your macronutrients within your calorie intake will help optimize optimize your body composition and your performance in the gym. In other words, macronutrients will control how you look or feel at any given body weight. Purely focusing on calories in, calories out will help us gain or lose body weight. But it's the macronutrients which will help us be muscular, leaner or stronger. We learnt that a calorie surplus will help us gain body weight, but that doesn't necessarily mean it leads to muscle gain. Excess calories can be stored as body fat or as muscle. Part of optimal that equation will be our macronutrient intake. And the same goes for a calorie deficit which leads to weight loss. This doesn't necessarily guarantee fat loss, it could also be muscle wastage, but optimizing our macronutrient ratios will greater the chances of it being fat loss. At PPS, we don't believe in restricting any specific food group or macronutrient. Proteins, carbohydrates and fats all play a vital role in optimizing body composition and performance. A low carb or a low fat diet will incidentally lead to calorie restriction which can lead to weight loss but it will come at a cost. Carbohydrates for example are performance fuel for our body by following a low carb diet and removing that macronutrient from our calorie intake is going to severely inhibit our performance and our function outside of the gym. Fats optimize hormone production by following a low fat diet and removing that macronutrient from your daily nutritional intake is going to inhibit your hormone function which is not ideal Deal. Both are unsustainable. The key theme is that we need proteins, carbs and fats to achieve our body composition goals and we shouldn't remove entire macronutrient groups. We're going to teach you the importance of each of these macronutrient groups and what food sources you'll find them from. You may have heard the term in the past, if it fits your macros. It was a popular nutritional trend where you didn't have to worry about eating only clean or healthy foods. You could eat whatever foods you wanted as long as it fit within your calorie and and macronutrient intake. And there is some truth to this which makes nutrition more sustainable for body composition but we sort of sit in the middle at PPS. We would recommend getting a lot of your food choices still from whole foods within your macro and calorie intake but understanding how to control your macronutrient and calorie intake gives you more wiggle room to enjoy more of the foods you previously would think were off limits when it comes to fat loss or muscle gain in your nutritional routine so it doesn't feel like you're restricting yourself or following a diet. To summarize, macronutrients are made up from your food choices. They are proteins, carbohydrates, fats and alcohol. They'll dictate your body composition and how you look and feel at any given body weight.